We're here in sunny Finland with ST Engineering and their Bronco 3. We're out moving around in the snow and there's a very special reason for that. The mobility of this vehicle is pretty comprehensive. We're in terrain that infantry would probably struggle to move over. And so we're going to go and interview Dominic Foon in the back of the vehicle where it's a bit warmer and get a little bit of information on this platform and why it's here. Hi Dominic. Hi. I just take this snow out of my boots. <laughs> Dominic, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for hosting us out here in this lovely location. Yeah. The Bronco 3 has been around for a little while. Can you tell us a little bit about the countries that you're interested in marketing it to, the kind of users that you're, you're, you're hoping to secure in the near future? Mm. Well, uh, those customers we are, that we are targeting are largely the BV206 users. Because uh, in the 1980s, you know, some 11,000 vehicles were sold worldwide. And we recognize that after so many years, the availability, the services, serviceability of these vehicles are all coming into question. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they are much smaller in terms of capability and uh, capacity, they are more limited. So we see this as an uh, important opportunity now to get into the market, to get in touch with all these users, to understand their coming up requirements so that we can best fit our Bronco into those set of requirements okay. and we can also offer ideas of how we can operate these vehicles in the op scenario or the, their perceived threats and then at least come with a solution that will wow the customer that's the key word. so in essence although what we have here is a completed platform that you're ready to produce you're yeah. also open to the needs of the customers so that you can vary it and modify it as you go forward. That's correct, because a uh, high degree of modularity has been put into this vehicle. So changes in um, the way different users use the vehicle is something that we can adopt to, so that at least for their mode of operation or for their training tactics and techniques, we can help standardize. And then uh, at least they don't feel awkward when they switch from the BV206 uh, that they're currently using into a new platform like the uh, Bronco. Modern warfare has changed yeah. immeasurably yes. from when the BV206 came into service. Yeah. Uh, we've discussed earlier how any logistics and supply mission could become a combat operation at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Where do you see the Bronco 3 fitting into the future battle space? What do you think it can bring to the future battle space that perhaps isn't already there? Well, I see the, the biggest uh, gap that that uh, the Bronco can fill is the last mile. You know, you have your trucks, logistic trucks, etc. They can only access certain areas, okay. which is built up. And uh, between that and your your front, front line uh, uh, vehicles, you need to have a vehicle that can transverse back and forth carrying the logistical stores or provide the, 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 the equipment as needed to facilitate the onward push of the operations. So I see that that niche niche area is the last mallet part that we need to have uh, uh, this vehicle for fuel. Yeah. Okay, so you can 
go anywhere yes, rather than go. That's in. right. And you don't have to fix going on, on normal roads. You can go off road where the threat is least. Yeah. You can see like traveling on the Arctic snow, you know that somebody has not been there. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if somebody is there, you know that the tracks, everything is all disturbed and you know that there's something there. Yeah. Right? So so in that essence you 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 can avoid the danger. Yeah. I see what you mean. It's a, a, an interesting line of thought for it certainly. And then you've also discussed briefly the the Morticarian variant which I find very interesting. Mm -hmm. That is uh, I think is a unique concept uh, combining your counter battery radar and the ability to counter those batteries into That's one right. vehicle. Right. Is that something that is designed to address a specific user need or is that uh, a gap that you've identified in the market as a company? More of a gap that we have identified because in the future battlefield things are moving all the time. Yeah. Your headquarters will be moving and you need to protect say that for instance this scenario of headquarters you need to protect it and mobile right so if you have a, a counter battery system that's already inside an element in, in, in the force itself you can sort of provide that protection where previously it's impossible you have to call in artillery units to do the protection or some other assets which makes the things more complicated yeah so it's very much orientated towards a mobile high pace that's right very lethal high tempo warfare yeah. exactly yeah. um and then just in terms of the development i i remember hearing i think uh, the last time i got to visit you and, and drive around in the bronco you said that it it can cross, is it 80% of terrain or, or, yes. or something? We, we like did that. a theoretical study and also based on the fact that this vehicle has actually been tested quite in varied environments throughout the world. And we are very uh, uh, confident that it can traverse 82% of the world's known. And what, what specific design features do you think enable it to do that? Because I imagine there aren't many vehicles mm. that can perform to that level. Yes. The four track drives and the articulation steering that we have in the center of this vehicle, that is the key element that allows that maneuverability, the low ground pressure. Yeah. So you can you can actually cross varied gaps, steps, grades, yeah. you know, things that are difficult for most vehicles. But for this vehicle, because of the push-pull effect, the four track drive, if you get mired or stuck, you just gotta put it in the reverse, you put yourself out of trouble and you can start again. I see what you mean. So it, it's self-supporting as well as exactly. very mobile. Exactly. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dominic. It's, it's lovely out here in Finland. I'm looking forward to, to seeing the, the vehicle rove around in the snow a bit more. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.